Welcome to my channel. My name is Doug Penicus. I am a actor, dancer, and filmmaker. This video is one I never thought I would ever make. This is about being injured as a dancer. Yay! No, don't do it. It's not good and it's not fun. Even weirder is that I've been for the past like nine years working on developing a movie about dancers and injury and recovery usually it's the other way around you get injured and then you write a script about it and then that turns into a movie instead of writing the script about an injury and then going off and getting actually injured for my entire dance career i hadn't had that bad of any dance injury before until now i got lucky i'll say that right here i got lucky that it wasn't worse and this is what happened it is currently Saturday the 11th, I believe, of December 2021. On Monday night, December 6th, around 7.30, 7.40 p.m., I ended up doing a leap at an audition. Instead of landing on my feet, which is what you're supposed to do, I ended up rolling both of my feet as I came down. To the point where I didn't know if I had broken my feet. I didn't know if I had pulled muscles, I, I torn ligaments. I had no idea. But it was strange that when you're on all fours and you try to get up and your feet aren't responding, that was that was really weird. Luckily, I had already worked with the choreographer and the director before of, on different jobs, and they were very sweet, very kind. Hold on, I have to get the door for the dog. Don't take my spot. You gonna take my spot? Oh, you're just gonna cozy up? Okay, cool. Hey, buddy. I'd actually already worked for the director on the same show I was auditioning for. They allowed me to sit down and one of the very nice ladies that worked the event, she ended up uh, getting me a bag of ice. And so I'm here I am sitting, well, putting a bag of ice on my leg, watching everybody else audition for the dance side. And then after that, they ended up doing a singing audition where they brought all of each dancer in to sing one on, one at a time. And then they kind of were done. And then when they saw me, I asked, do you want me to sing? And they go, oh yeah. Luckily, the director is also an accompanist. So he ended up being my accompanist and we sang the song. Well, I sang the song, hunched over, putting the ice on my foot. It was definitely one of the most embarrassing auditions I've ever had, but it was very kind for the director to say, you sound great got something good and then immediately after that both the director and the choreographer under each of my arms had to hobble me out of the audition room in front of all the girls that were getting ready to come in to audition because the girl call was after the guy call hello sneaking i was like well this is perfect if you want to instill fear in the people that are about to audition one of the dancers the guy dancers that was also auditioning who did a great job uh, it was very nice. He knew where I parked my car because we parked in the same um, parking structure. He actually was willing to go to his car, drive back, pick me up outside of the audition space, and then drive me to my car so I wouldn't have to hobble all the way back, which was a huge help. And then I drove home for about 50 minutes holding the ice pack on my leg while I'm driving. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't fun. And I couldn't get out of my car when I got home, which was terrifying I'm not even gonna lie that was one of the most scariest things of my life to realize that i can't i don't have the strength to stand and i didn't know if i should put any pressure on my feet because if i had broken something i didn't want to make it any worse i told my family my dad took me to the er so we could get my foot x-rayed to find out if i had broken my feet we waited for about two hours to get in they brought in the crazy droid I don't know if I can say droid, but I'm a Star Wars nerd. Machine to x-ray my feet. Yeah. And luckily I saw the x-ray and I was looking for the really sharp white spots that you're used to seeing with a fracture. There weren't any. And then they gave me crutches and gave me a kind of like a half boot for more support. We came home, got home probably around two, three in the morning. No, no, it was two in the morning. Got home at two in the morning. And then went the next day, the following morning to my physical therapist that I've been going to since I was like 14 or 15, who's worked wonders on my left knee before. And he saw me coming in on the crutches and was like, what did you do? And I said, I just really, really missed you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Which of course, was not entirely true. I do miss him, but I don't want to get injured to go see him. 
because uh, he's been a wonder in our family for helping us. Is this boring you? It's probably boring. Hey, don't don't rip up my sheets. Do you want a pillow? I'll spare a pillow right now. No. This guy. Look up your mind, dude. Turn down service. Oops. Gentle. Start. You're pulling the sheets up. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop that. Look at what you're doing. Look at what you're doing. And you're going to give up. Never give up. Never surrender. Never give up. Never surrender. Be better now? This guy has to make it all his own. I'll fix it later. Uh, physical therapy. Like we're just dealing with contusions. So we got some tendonitis and some contusions. So this is right up my alley. Let's get you get you better. Yes, please. Okay. My physical therapist, who's amazing, I did does this test to try and figure out where the pain is and what the issue is. And he touched my foot where the spots where I said it hurt. Well, he like touched at different ends of the uh, tendons, I guess is what it's called, the ligaments. I didn't really respond like, ah, and, oh, you know, and all the painful things. Checked my heels to make sure I didn't break my calcaneus. So he goes, well, that's that's good because nothing's actually torn or broken, just bruised and irritated. And he can nurse me back to health from that. And they do this awesome thing. Uh, it's called He calls it an ultrasound combo because it sends a frequency wavelength um, through your body and your whole body kind of like jolts like this. It actually is a good pain relief. Um, and then he did another one called H wave where they take leads and they put it on your feet and they zap you. And I call it electroshock therapy because it just sounds like it's from a movie. Normally, that's the goal, right? And that's a four point gate right there. That's excellent. You don't even know what you're doing, but you're doing it perfect. No, I know you're doing it. You do look at you. you look me. at you. <laughs> you remember? I love it. I love it. Excellent. Excellent four point gate. Excellent. Literally less than 24 hours, I was up on my feet walking without crutches. That was his reaction to looking up and seeing Doug doing this. I'm just seeing if I could do it, and so far I can. You can, exactly. I had him for safety, but I technically didn't need him to at least walk. I wasn't walking perfectly, but I was still able to walk without having to need the crutches, which was a huge relief. And also just the, the peace of mind, knowing that I didn't break anything or rip anything. I, I definitely sprained my feet and uh, there was swelling in my left foot for sure. But he ended up doing some wizarding stuff. <laughs> To uh, reroute the swelling, and the swelling's gone down. Mind, mind over body sometimes. Yep, a little bit of that, but also you, 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 you've altered the body. You push that swelling out of there. That swelling is not pushing on your nerves. I told you, we're looking at we're looking at Friday, baby. I like that goal. That's amazing. It's pretty cool. It's fun. <laughs> For you. It's fun for you. Okay, so that was Tuesday. Tuesday I was already up and walking without the real need of crutches. I still have them. I still kind of use them just for safety because I have to get myself going. So today is Saturday. Um, I, I've been in to physical therapy. I go like every other day. I can do the salsa basic already. I can do forward and back. Still have to work on side to side. And I can't really do the cross yet um, because it just I, there's all there's a whole bunch of stuff in your foot it's and you can feel it start to move <laughs> i don't recommend it if you're gonna do a leap land on your feet <laughs> something i didn't do but i'm really grateful that i'm able to walk which that was terrifying there was a second i was like did i really mess myself up for at this audition in front of friends which was even more embarrassing no it was a close call and i'm still hobbling around the house a bit like look at this he messes up my bed and then he does that bed thief i still love you though hopefully if i'm lucky enough to book the job 
because they do know my dance ability. They know I can do it. I was actually very lucky to get called by the choreographer and be asked if I wanted to still do it or if they were afraid that I was afraid of the choreography now. No, I'm not really afraid of it. It's a challenge. Got to rise to the challenge. Hopefully I still get it and then I have time because rehearsals don't technically start for the show until April. So that's plenty of time for me to recover and build my strength back and be able to dance again. So hopefully be an even better, stronger dancer because I'd love to do the show one more time. That'd be really fun because it's a fun show and it's great people. Goals. Gotta have goals. Gotta be ready for April. I actually have a job for New Year's Eve. Here's the weird thing. This is what I... This is wild to me. I auditioned for a job that would work New Year's Eve in Vegas. I didn't get booked as a dancer. They hired me as atmosphere, which is you wear a costume and you walk around and you interact with people. How they're going to do that with COVID, probably be wearing a mask or something. Hopefully. Who knows? What's strange is it's almost like the universe knew... I wouldn't be ready to dance by New Year's Eve. I mean, maybe I will, hopefully. If the treatment keeps going well and I keep getting stronger, that'd be awesome. But I don't really need to dance for New Year's Eve because I'm not hired for that. I'm still getting paid. Yay, money. Money! So I was just thinking, it's like, you know, it's a good thing I didn't book the New Year's Eve job as a dancer because if this happened, I would not be able to do it. They were already, The dancers are already in rehearsal for that right now. Kind of weird how the universe works, right? You must feel the force I believe in it. Something's guiding me to, you're going, you can't book this because you're going to get injured at this date and you won't be ready to do that at that date, but you will be ready to do this thing on this other date. I hope, I hope that's what the universe's plan is for me because it's in their hands right now. I'm not trying to force anything to happen. Don't get injured, people. Just, just don't do it. It's terrifying, genuinely terrifying, especially if you dance is your source of income so that means your body is your instrument and if your instrument is broken or busted or out of tune whatever that means yeah yeah you got gonna have to face some life decisions but i'm very lucky that um it wasn't worse thank god knock on wood got a couple pillows right here so i can keep my feet raised when i'm resting or zapping them zap 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 thank you for visiting the channel if this is your first time i hope you find this interesting i hope you might learn something of what not to do because that seems to be what i'm about right now is don't do what i did <laughs> and uh if you are returning to my channel amazing i'm glad you find this interesting and hopefully if i end up doing more stuff like this you enjoy those as well so stick around Got some interesting stories to tell, and we're gonna see how this recovery goes because I think it'll be, I think it could be interesting to see the progress and see the time frame uh, now that I have a goal to be able to be able to be ready to dance again before April. For like, really be able to dance again. I'm pretty confident I'll be able to dance sooner than that, but when I'm not sure. But I know rehearsals for this potential job start in April, and I would really love to do this job again because I want to work with the director and the choreographer. Because they're, they're friends and they're cool people. And I like working with cool people. Thanks for checking this video out. Wish me luck that it goes quicker than expected. Take care. Be safe. Don't hurt yourselves. <laughs>